Hello and welcome to another update video about Polkadot. Dot yeah, completed these five waves to the upside. We talked about that, this sort of diagonal pattern here, which topped in March, around the 14th of March, at around yeah, $11.90, $12. And then the pullback started and unfolded into the support zone, which is defined between $4.60 and $7.50. We have now seen a nice reaction actually to the area between the 50% retracement and the 61.8 retracement between $6.50 and $5.60. And from there, obviously, a rally is starting now, but or has started. Actually, I mean, the price from that low already recovered over 30%. Now, the rally is not over yet, or at least there is no evidence it is. I've added a trend line already for yesterday's video that shows us where the price could still be going and where the price might find um, resistance that could be in the area around $8. Okay, so this is just where that trend line is coming down and cuts basically here through the upside resistance zone. This is a Fibonacci zone, which is defined based on the micro structures here. So you might say that this way four for the white count, which allows for another low, that this way four, which is just indicating that it's a corrective rally, it might be a little large. And yeah, it is, but not necessarily for an ending diagonal pattern. So if we say that the initial move down from that 14th of March high might just have been an A wave, B wave rally, and now a C wave down, which is a five wave move. Then the wave one bottomed here around the 5th of April. The wave two topped around the 9th of April at around $9.10. Third wave bottomed on the 13th of April. At around 580 and the fourth wave is now unfolding yep a little too large for a wave four but not for a wave four in a diagonal necessarily in an impulse for sure it, it only reached a golden ratio level at 70 seven dollars 60. yep that is a bit too aggressive for a fourth wave but if we look at the internal structure you have an a wave here the b wave pullback which is the friday low and then this could be the c wave and the c wave often reaches the 100 percent extension that's at seven dollars 85 so that's why I highlighted in yesterday's video, we're consolidating just below resistance and a reaction to the $7.85 level could still lead to that fifth wave to the downside. So the risk isn't gone. And to be honest, we see a bit of exhaustion there, but a push, a convincing break above $7.85 would open the door for the yellow count. I mean, the yellow count is already a possibility, but it needs to prove itself for sure because the move up looks corrective. So it's possible that the wave two bottomed here on the 13th. But I need to see first five wave advance from the low. It starts to look promising, absolutely, especially the only thing that I can really use to consider that the wave two might have bottomed is the fact that the wave four is a little too large. But again, not for a diagonal. So both possibilities still exist. Both possibilities still exist, but the price is trying to move out of our support zone to the upside, which is good to see. And the yellow, count tells us what we need to see how a five wave move up would look like and what i need to see to confirm that low has been established in wave two i need to see five waves filled in and they should reach nine dollars approximately the 1.618 extension level in five waves and then a three wave pullback afterwards would be uh, ideally would ideally form a higher low and then we have a so-called so one two setup and that would be the next trade setup and so on but at the moment even in the white count, even in that fourth wave, as you can see, it's possible that one more high is forming, possibly might reach $7.85. There is no evidence that the fifth wave to the downside has started. But if it starts sort of from this region, yeah, maybe after one more high. Looking at the one hour time frame. You see that if one more low forms, I mean, we have seen three waves down only so far. That looks corrective. That looks corrective and, you know, suggests that we might see one more push higher at least. But yeah, if we get one more low, the $5.60 level could be support. Don't think there is any more clarity we can get from the smallest time frame, really. I can only share with you that this move up looks very corrective. I mean, it's possible that this is a small five wave move in a C wave, but one more high would be better. Um, yeah. So what can I say? Not not much more. I mean, it is it is looking corrective only three waves up that's what i see right now that just means in my work obviously is to highlight the risk and the opportunities right so for the opportunities we have the yellow support zone 
because that's the area where we expect the reversal. But for the risk, we have the micro count there in white. And it tells us that one more low is definitely something we still have to consider. But if we see five waves up to $9, that would be a good confirmation that a low has been established. And then talking about upside targets, the larger degree third wave should, should send us to $23 and eventually fifth wave to around about 30 from what we can see right now. So that's my update about Dot. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.